Yes, I am J.P. Singhal, former Vice Chancellor, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. Presently, National President Dakhil Bharti Rastri Sachik Mahasam. Basically here to just share my experiences on a very important topic, enabling learning environment and learner support. As we are all aware of the fact that when we talk about the learning environment, we talk about the whole range of components and activities within which learning happens. It may include learning resources, technology, pedagogy, means of teaching, modes of learning, and also the societal and global context is also included when we talk about this environment. This environment, to make this environment enable, conducive and effective, we have to make this environment very much enjoyable, very much engaging, and very much uh, trustworthy. Then and then this environment becomes enough. But recently, what we have seen that there has been a paradigm shift, especially after the adoption of National Education Policy 2020 by the government of India in the approaches towards the learning environment. If you just go through the shift, what I could see through National Education Policy 2020 we will be able to understand this environment much more genuinely. The shift is from contents specific to the learners centric. So far, we have been very much content specific. The focus was on the contents. Now the focus is shifted from contents to learners. We have to look for learners, learners needs, learners diversity, learners requirement, learners behavior and all that. That is a shift and more towards creation of new learning solutions. We have to go beyond the traditional learner solutions, learning solutions for this particular purpose. There is a shift for the holistic development. We want the holistic development, not only the, we don't want to make our student experts in the subject merely, but we want his or her holistic development. And that is why there is a focus on integrated learning, or you can say the collaborative learning. So far, we have not been focusing on these issues. But with this uh, National Education Policy 2020, now the collaborative learning and integrative learning is becoming much more important, much more popular. And very important thing, thing which is a shift which we see that there is a respect for diversity. So far, we were not very much uh, thinking about there was a uh, particular kind of the system only within the system we were working. But now we see uh, a kind of the divergent views and diversity of the students and differences in the uh, various kind of the behavior of the students and that is why we have to there is a shift for understanding and recognizing diversity of the students and also recognizing the local context local context local needs as our honorable prime minister has said we have to be very vocal for local and this is the then uh, there is an extensive use of technology. National education policy has a very basically focusing on this issue that the technology, most modern technology, talking about the artificial intelligence, talking about uh, design thinking, talking about all these creativity and innovations and inventions, all these things has to be taken into consideration for the purpose of just uh, thinking about how we can make the best use of the new and new technology for the purpose of providing the enabling and conducive and effective learning environment to the students. 
and that uh, in part into the continuous review and feedback. Generally, we were not very much uh, trying to know something for uh, the kind of the impact which we see uh, in the, amongst the students, and that is the reason uh, we find that this is a focus. More and more focus is on continuous feedback. Continuous uh, feedback has to be received uh, from the students, and that is to creativity and innovation. These are all I have just shortlisted few issues, which I believe that with this national education policy 2020, the focus has shifted, uh, and this paradigm shift has made the things much more important for us. That we have to be very vigilant. We have to be very much concerned that how we can strengthen our learners' uh, support system, how we can strengthen our learning environment with which uh, uh, we will be making the things uh, happen in the way we want. We want the, that the overall development of the student is there. Uh, that is not simply the, uh, it's not possible rarely from the physical environment. We have to look for physical, psychological, social, uh, uh, emotional, cultural environment. We have to improve upon all these kind of the components of the environment. Uh, so far, we have been very much concerned about the physical environment, but we have to look for that not only the physical, but social, cultural, uh, psychological, emotional environment has to be strengthened. So to facilitate the students so that they can work very effectively, they can work very efficiently, uh, uh, and their learning is uh, facilitated, their learning is uh, becoming much more important to them. And that uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very important, if your environment is a conducive one, it is certainly going to uh, support the learners' learning and also support the learners' development, whatever the kind of the opinion we have, that how we will be talking with that sense that the learner will be in a position to think in this direction that uh, uh, the kind of the work will be much more important to them. And this is uh, uh, the way the learner's uh, uh, learning environment has to be uh, made conducive, has to be made uh, very effective. Uh, then and then uh, uh, we will be saying that the students are totally satisfied, the students are totally uh, very much uh, uh, engaging, they are very much enjoying the kind of study uh, which we are providing to them, and this is very much important for them. And for that, learner support is also very important. We have to strengthen the environment, we have to make our environment conducive, in fact, we wanted to make, so the students are becoming, working very efficient, they are working very much proactively. They are not simply the listeners, they are not simply the persons who are at the receiving end, but they are uh, very basically working, uh, collaborating with the various persons, collaborating with the various students. And with this, uh, they are making their understanding, their learning uh, much more useful and purposeful. And for that, learner support is very much required. Learner support is a very essential element of an effective, and conducive learning environment. There are several uh, components, but the learner support component is one very important component. Uh, we have to improve upon this learning learner support component uh, because it is very important, uh, already very important element for the purpose of making our environment a very much uh, uh, a brilliant environment, a very conducive environment. And for that, we have to work very hard. Because learners are very much diverse. Their needs are diverse, their uh, behavior is diverse, their uh, culture is diverse. Yeah, we find learners from the various areas, from various languages, from various, uh, uh, you can say, the uh, kind of the thought process, the kind of the culture. And that is why this diversity which was not recognized so far has to be recognized essentially. And until and unless we recognize this diversity, uh, we will not be able to provide a kind of the learner support system which made them very happy. Because this is the uh, this is the learner support system only 
which makes a difference between the success and failure. If your learner support system is very much uh, uh, important, very much conducive, very much strong, then the learner will be very successful. And if we find the learner support system is not very nice, it is not very much, it's a very weak learner support system we have, uh, then certainly he will be and she will be a failure one. So the difference between success and failure is very much dependent on uh, the kind of the learner support system we have developed in our, uh, in our system. And this is the reason uh, we have to think that uh, to satisfy our learners, to facilitate our learners, to make our learners uh, very important, we have to, uh, we have to uh, work very hard to do few things in this direction. Very important thing is that uh, we have to find, we have to understand the, the diversity of our students, diversity of our learners, what kind of diversity they have. And if we, we understand their needs, uh, diverse needs or different kinds of needs of our learner, then accordingly we can plan, we can try to have our system learner support system at place. And if it is, you have a very good learner support system, but it is not in uh, consonance by the needs and the uh, desires of the students and the learners, then it will have no impact. The learner support system will have a positive impact only and only when it is very much in consonance with the needs of the students. And these needs are diverse. So we have to study them. We have to study them very vigorously and accordingly plan, accordingly trying to know, we have to make ourselves aware of these needs. We have to make ourselves, we have to comprehend, we have to understand these needs. Accordingly, we have to plan, plan the kind of the tools and techniques by which the learners are supported. And then we have to master these kind of the tools and techniques. So these could be the uh, four stages that we have to, first we have to aware ourselves, so then uh, we have to understand means we have to comprehend that particular fact. Then we have to plan accordingly the tools and techniques with which uh, uh, the learners can be supported to fulfill their need, to satisfy their needs. And accordingly, we have to mastery that because we have to become an expert in that. We have to become the master of the particular thing then and then. Uh, this uh, support system will give you the desirable results, will give you the kind of the result we expected from. And that is the reason we have to focus on this uh, learner support system in a, a very big way, then and then uh, we should be, uh, we will be in a position to think in this direction. And so this, uh, there are, generally we are saying that uh, these learner supports system has two levels. One is a kind of a level which we can talk about that is a macro level. It means uh, we can try to uh, design a support learner support system at the macro level, which means at the institution level. At the institution level. Look for what is what kind of the environment we have in the institution, what are the various factors which influences the uh, learner's environment, learning environment at the level of the institution, maybe the kind of the administration you have, kind of the management you have, kind of the library resources, technological resources you have, kind of, uh, you can say the service uh, uh, department you have, all these, or kind of the technology you say, what kind of website, your web page, or uh, all these kind of the uh, new uh, tools of uh, te technological tools could be of, uh, but that could help at the institution level. We have to create an environment which is very conducive at the institutional level. That is one level. We have to work for that, that how the different uh, needs of the different students could be met, uh, with whether their management is a collaborative one or is a participative one or management is a kind of the authoritative one only. How, 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 uh, what kind of the information centers you have, what kind of the information centers you have, whether the students are very basically getting all sort of information which they wanted to have for this. This is quite important. So at, that is macro level. 
at an institutional level, we can work uh, to improve upon the learning environment uh, by providing that kind of the learner support tools and techniques and processes and methodologies by which learners are facilitated to achieve their objectives. Learners are facilitated to do the things the way they want. That is one level, that is what we call it a macro level. Or another level for learner support to the micro level. That's very important. Uh, that very basically speaks about the set of all facilities that facilitates the students to solve their problems and solve their obstacles in learning. Students might be seeing certain hurdles, certain obstacles, certain problems while learning. Well, that is why we have to think in this direction. That for this purpose, at macro micro level, we have to think that uh, prior to the class, before the class, during the class, and after the class. We have to think not merely when the class or study is going on, learners are in a learning process, but we have to think about the pre-classes uh, also, during the classes also, and uh, after the class also. That micro uh, system, micro system of learning for learner support has to be thought in these three categories. How we can facilitate the students to uh, work very effectively and efficiently before what steps we need to have before the classes are taken place or during the classes taken place or after the classes taken place. All these three phases are very important. Sometimes we are only bothering during the classes, but we need an environment. We need a conducive environment to make our students efficient, handling the problems, handling the, uh, the obstacles very easily. Then we have to do that kind of the uh, point for that. And that is the reason uh, that is related with the every subject or a course course. Every course has to be thought of, thought of in this uh, micro system that because it is uh, the kind of the micro level, uh, it's an individual level, we have to look for. In these days, we are trying to have a kind of the learning system, which is a individual learning system, individual learning system. Every individual is learning. The learning impact on every individual is very high. Every individual is uh, uh, trying becoming so is empowered to do away all the problems and all the kind of the obstacles they are facing in uh, learning and this is the reason we have to uh, work for that at how we can improve upon the learning systems or individual learning system which we can call the uh, learner support at the back several kind of the uh, uh, you can say the learner support could be concerned, maybe the learner's uh, behavior, maybe the learner's confidence, maybe the learner's contents of the uh, things, or context is very much important. Context, because now there is a big shift from content to context. In what context we are going to do the things, and that context has to be taken care of, and that has to be done for that kind of thing. And for that, what we need to have that there could be the several supporters, learner supporters. We can develop certain learner supporters. Maybe the teachers are there, maybe the uh, technology is there, maybe the students uh, are there, colleagues are there. They are the learners. We have to create a network of learner supporters to, to improve upon the efficiency and effectiveness of the learners. Because learners learn very much uh, from those uh, areas, from those persons to whom uh, they are much, much very much associated. So maybe uh, the colleagues, the students working with you, you can collaborate with them, you can learn from them. And that is, uh, we are, in these days, we are talking about the experience in learning. We are talking about, talking about the collaborative learning. So all that experience in learning comes only when you are trying to learn by experiences, by doing things, by doing things. And uh, this is uh, uh, 
a way which uh, basically help uh, and that is why the learner support system will focus on uh, the various forms of assistance how we can assist the learner maybe uh, but what i believe that we have the uh, the the forms of assistance must go uh, beyond the delivery of contents or the skill development or the formal assessment because now we are not talking about the formal assessment now we are talking about the formative regular assessment so so far we have been assisting the students in the form of skill development or in the form of contents delivery or in the form of pedagogy or in the form of formal assessment now we have to go beyond that so how we can try to improve upon the culture processes and how we can try to uh, think in this direction so that uh, the learner support becomes much more we have to go beyond that and if we are going beyond that then and then all these aspects of national education policy uh, which has uh, focuses on the various kind of the changes which needs to be uh, addressed will certainly be uh, taken care of and if we are taking care of all these factors uh, which i have just listed out then certainly we will be in a position to think in this direction that by with this kind of the learner support and with the kind of the strengthening of the environment we will be in a position to provide a kind of environment which is a educated environment which is a uh, enjoyable environment which is an engaging environment which is a very much conducive environment to facilitate the learners to increase their efficiency to increase their effectiveness and to become very successful with this i thank you very much uh, for all the organizers who have just provided me an opportunity to share my some experiences uh, on this issue uh, i again uh, thank you very much please